tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. Go! I scream at my family as that monster comes back for another pass. To fall, to trip, to do anything but run right now means death. And I can't have any of my family murdered. My wife runs alongside of me, keeping right behind our son who is wide-eyed and scared. We were at home, doing our normal Monday night routine when that, that monster just appeared. I don't know what else to call it but a monster. I don't think the words have been invented to fully describe that beast. The only word I can think of is evil, and I mean that as a noun. There! I yell out as I see a corner approaching. My heart begins to beat faster as I can see this is the chance we need. Turn! Turn! I command to everyone, knowing that the huge size of the monster will be its disadvantage now. That thing's as huge as a house, which means it won't be able to stop or slow down as fast as we can. The corner gets closer and closer, but so does the monster. My wife, having the smarts of the family, steps to the outside and pushes our kids into the turn. A half second later, I turn the corner and that monster takes a swipe at me. But my heart lifts when I hear it trip over its own feet and keep rolling. To, to the door! I yell, seeing a door that's a million miles away. The rejoicing I felt turns sour as I hear the monster standing up. I had hoped that it hurt itself, but it doesn't seem like it did. I still one look behind me as I run, wanting one final look at that beast. This is a stupid thing to do, I know, but I'm purposely not running as fast as I can either, which is even stupider. If I wanted to, I could outsprint all of my family, but I refuse to. I have to make sure they get to safety. The monster is standing again, its massive head looking at me. I just can't get over how ugly that thing is and how evil. First, it's orange. Orange! And so huge! But the scariest thing about it, scariest thing by far, isn't the huge claws or those big fangs, it's the eyes. They're yellow. YELLOW! And when they look around, you can actually see the light reflect in them, showing that the thing is so evil, even light refuses to look it in the eye. RUN! I scream at my family as I see those yellow eyes lock onto me. It takes the monster only a second before it's running. My family runs at top speed, but I can tell it's not going to be fast enough. That monster will be here before we even reach the door. In that split second that I know we won't make it, I react. Without a word, I turn to my left and I run the opposite way, letting my family keep forward. I run at top speed now, heading nowhere at all. Over here, idiot! I shout at the monster, wanting him to focus on me and not my family. Seeing I'm closer and I'm taunting it, my plan works. If I can just keep it busy for just a little bit, my family will reach the door. Suddenly, I'm lifted off my feet, and the world goes upside down. Then the world turns to orange. I'm plunged into the dark, evil color of that monster's fur, and I know what happened. It took only two seconds before that thing reached me. My body, my frail little body, slammed it to the hard ground, knocking out all my wind. Opening my eyes, I see the monster above me, looking down with a look of confusion and triumph. That's when I see the monster has this huge right hand on me, holding me down. His hand is almost as big as my entire body, making it impossible for me to even move or wiggle. Mittens! A loud voice asks, and I recognize the voice at once. It's one of them. The moving buildings. The ones that are shaped so strange and seem to go up into the sky. With all that was happening, I forgot all about them. Normally, you can feel them coming as they shake the very earth when they get near. What have you got there, Mittens? The building says. And of course the building wouldn't be scared of the monster since it's so much bigger than it. 
My heart lifts again as I feel the weight of the monster's hand being lifted off me. I can barely believe what I'm seeing. The building is pulling the monster off me. Ah, a mouse! The building yells, but I don't care. I'm already on all four feet, running for the door. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next evil idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights.